Hi everyone and welcome back to the old times map. So what I've done in the XML file is actually increase my money to £80,000. It's actually reducing now obviously because of my maintenance fees. But the reason for doing this is so we can get sort of a half decent machine as the main tractor. Because obviously on this farm we have no front loader tractor and that is going to be needed for various things. Um, and I'm obviously not going to get the telehandler because that is just too expensive. So I've added the 80,000 so I can buy the T4 Power Star. And this was actually requested in yesterday's video. Um, and it's actually not a bad idea. So I'm going to buy that. So it's only 75 horsepower. So it will pull a few things, but nothing too heavy. Um, but yeah, it'd be good with the front loader. So I'm going to put the front loader on that. And that should set us up for a bit better uh, machinery on this map. So we're now left with £10,500 pretty much which I'm going to spend on livestock because I mean we've got the equipment we need, I'm not going to buy anything else I don't think unless I really need it so the rest can go on the animals. Um, now obviously this isn't going to go too far with the cows. Uh, the sheep, I mean we could buy quite a number of sheep probably, I don't know, maybe eight? Uh, yeah we'll go with eight and then we need a bit left over just to play with. So yeah, we'll have two cows to begin with, eight sheep and well, the chickens, they're not expensive are they? Uh, so we'll go with probably 15 of them. Right, so we're now left with 2,136 pounds and we'll be able to go and get our brand new New Holland tractor. Of course, these things need to be taken back to the yard. Good, so we've now got half decent machine this is obviously going to be the best machine we're going to have on this map we're sticking with the older or smaller equipment and I've come to the conclusion that this will be a five part series so nothing too long uh, just to keep it nice and short and interesting so I'm just taking this back to the main yard now the combine will also have to go back unless I'm going to use it again uh, I was planning on actually cultivating that field today and re-drilling it and then we'll move on to something else. We won't be needing this tractor just yet so I'm just going to put it over here out of the way just to begin with and we'll bring the combine back because that doesn't need to be out anymore. We will be doing a bit more harvesting soon but this field um, it's such a small field that I might as well just get it drilled again and growing so I can use it at some time in the future and I did say I wasn't going to buy too much more machinery but I've just thought of one thing I do need and that is a tree planter for the saplings because I would like to put a forest in so I'll just fold up the header and we'll put that in this shed at the end I don't think the header will fit in there which is a bit of a shame. So that will have to stay there. Doesn't look too good having it outside like that, but there isn't really any barns big enough for it. And we'll just get into our Deutz farm. We'll put the cultivator on the back. Very small cultivator this, but it's a very small field, so it doesn't really matter. The tractor should definitely have enough horsepower for it and the same with the drill. Um, so yeah, we'll head over to field number eight and begin cultivating that. And then I'll drill it almost immediately with something, I'm not sure what yet. And that's just up here. Right, so um, this can actually get on as a worker because I can then go behind it with the drill hopefully it doesn't crash it might do so we're now getting to our other Deutz far two tractors the same here we'll put a front weight on it and we'll put the drill on the back we'll fill it up and I don't know what to put in there really um, I mean, it was oil seed rape, so we should probably put a cereal like uh, wheat or barley in there. So I'll put this down here. 
can fill it up, but we don't really need to fill it to the top. About 75%, yeah, that should be fine. Um, and we will go and take it to the field as well. I think I will just stick with wheat, put wheat in there. Probably is the best option. Okay, so <laughs> clearly um, it's hit a tree. It was expected. I'm going to have to take the headland off it. Or get it past this point at least. Just so it doesn't hit that tree anymore. I think if we just go up and down once it should be fine. Right. I mean it's only going to take a few seconds anyway this. Such a small field. But I think it would look good if I put trees in here at some point. Obviously it's going to be a very small woodland, but it is a woodland and it all looks good. And of course it means we get to use the sapling planter, the tree planter, which I've, I always enjoy using that. I don't really use it often enough. I, in fact, I don't think I've ever really covered it in any of my videos, except for in that agroforestry one I did on Cobra Farm. Um, and even then I wasn't even driving it, so yeah, I'm definitely going to use that at some point. Right, that should be okay if I then put it on a worker again I mean there isn't really any other trees to hit so it would do well to hit a tree that should be fine let's just have a look yeah it should be fine good we'll get to work with this one and get this planting driving through the hedge though. You can't have everything. That is one of the problems with the worker. You can't see objects. And I'm not sure actually if I've got a sprayer or a fertiliser spreader. I'll have to have a look at that. Because I'll have to do some form of fertilising to this field. Um, well, I guess I don't have to, but it'd be good to get more yield out of it. It's going quicker than me. ditch there. The worker clearly can't see it. He should probably be sacked. I think this must be probably one of the smallest fields I've ever drilled. I mean there were a couple of small ones on the Bjornholm map. Um, some of those being field, if I remember rightly, 29. Um, I think 26 was quite small. Uh, I think that was it. There, there were two very small ones, and then there was a few sort of medium-sized ones. And then, of course, there was those huge ones near the shop. They were absolutely massive. They were the kind of fields where you could put your biggest machines on there on a worker have a break for an hour, come back and it would still be going because <laughs> it was so big but yeah I don't really like the big fields in um, what was it, Farming Simulator 2009 I think it was but they probably did it for a number of different versions there was like a harvest map, they call it harvest map whoever the creator was and it was literally the whole map was just one huge wheat field uh, covering the entire map <laughs> from one side to the other uh, and literally you could get your biggest machines by I don't know how many, however many you want, 20 combines uh, set them all going and they'll all go in a row, it'll look amazing <laughs> but it's just so unrealistic to have such a massive field on a map when you've got this little 
farm in the middle to empty your grain. I mean, good luck keeping up with those combines with, you, with your uh, chaser bins. That would be crazy. But yeah, I guess that would be fun to do. I wouldn't mind doing that, just for a one-off video. Have just a whole map. It's just one massive field. You'd have to have multiplayer though and run everyone in a tractor and trailer just to keep up with the combines. That would be hilarious though. No, I wouldn't mind doing that. Right, so we're not doing too badly here. We are cracking on quite well. And like I thought, we're not using too much seed at all. So no reason to fill it to the top. Um, mm, but yeah, we're not doing badly and we're almost at the end. It's not taking too long. And I am going through that hedge quite a bit. I'm surprised actually I'm not even catching up with that worker there because every single time he gets to the end over there he goes in that ditch and it really slows him down. I think it's because his work speed, field speed is much quicker than this. I'm doing 8 miles an hour which isn't too bad but that tractor must be doing about 10 maybe more and it seems to have stopped, that's interesting. Oh no! It's uh, hit the tree and recovered. We'll get ours back on track then. I don't know what it's doing. Has it gone round in a circle and hit the tree again? Hmm. Well, if it has, which I think it has, I'll finish that off uh, manually. Probably the best option, it's just going to hit it again. Yes, it has. It's hit the tree. Oh, it's got it right wedged in there. Stop. Okay. This isn't going to take too long to finish. Oh, I'm going in the ditch now. probably do a bit more in cab view to be honest, it's a bit unrealistic following it behind. Right, final bit. Yeah, this one's doing nine. 9 miles per hour so slightly quicker than the drill nothing too much quicker though ok, that is that finished and we'll just put this out of the way somewhere back into my tractor I'll just finish this bit of drilling off I wouldn't mind finding a fertilizer spreader though. Right, almost done. Just a little bit left. Hopefully I can get all this in one. Uh, maybe not. have a look. Uh, mm, maybe. Mm, it'll do. Should be fine. Right, so I'm going to have to take these back to the yard and I'm going to look to see if I have got a fertilizer spreader or a sprayer or something. Anything to fertilize this field with. Uh, we obviously don't have much slurry yet because we've only just bought the cows and I doubt we'll have a slurry tanker. Um, so let's have a look here. We've got trailer, tractor, weights, combine, another tractor, New Holland we just bought, those tractors, drill, Hurleyman, plow. No, we do not then. Um, right, so how much is the smallest fertilizer spreader? 14,600. Right, we can't afford that. So we're not going to be able to fertilize the field unfortunately 
It's a bit annoying that we didn't start off with that. I probably should have added a little more money at the beginning. But I don't want to cheat too much. So, one of those things we're going to have to live with. We have got plenty of other fields to harvest anyway, so it's not too much of a problem. I'll just put this away. I'll put it over through here. It can actually go in here with the tractor. It doesn't need to be taken off. If it'll fit. Yep, just about. So that can be parked nicely in here. Good. If I can get over my tractor now, we will have a little run over to our other tractor. And we'll bring this one back. This one um, can also go in that shed. It can keep the cultivator on it. We don't really need to take it off. And that should be all good. After that, I want to go and see my cows and sheep and chickens see if they're all settling in okay. So we've got plenty of chickens roaming around the yard. I'm guessing they're the ones we just bought. Good. So here are our chickens, they all seem fairly happy. Yep. Um, yeah, the cows, they're over, if we look on the map, um, wrong map. if we go on here we can see that the cows are near the far north side of the map so we'll drive up there now I'll take the Hurleyman because we can actually get um, a load of grain or something and sell that on the way the windmill is on the way to there so I'll put a full trailer load in there in here um, wheat yeah that'll be fine Good. Just spin round and we'll go over there. Have a look at our cows. I mean, there's only two of them, so <laughs> I'm hoping there's not going to be too much of a problem up there. Unless they've fallen out already. Just drop this off on the way. I'll get the weight off. See what money we can make from this. Probably not too much, but it all helps. Oh, it's tipping that way. Mm, not too bad. If we get enough, we might be able to buy either the fertilizer spreader or maybe the tree planter, whatever I need. And we'll go up here now, go and see two cows we've got. Yes, here they are, look. They've got no feed, no straw, nothing. It's just my two cows in a field with no grass. Nice and plump. Let's see how this one's doing. Yeah, it seems to be settling in okay. Well, we better get you some feed soon. That's going to be... Hmm, actually, I've just thought... I don't even have a forage wagon, do I? Okay, or a mower. Oh, I didn't think of this. We're gonna have to sell everything we've got in store. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to have a bit of a think about this. We do not have the equipment that we need to have animals. So I'm gonna have to uh, make some money quickly. Otherwise we can't feed them and we won't be producing any milk at all. The sheep, we'll go and see them. Now they are, where are they? They're near the main yard, so we'll go and see them now. Right, the sheep should be here. I can hear them, yes, there they are. Likewise, no feed, so I'm gonna have to sort that out as soon as possible. And we've already produced some wool, so that's not too bad. That's why we need the front loader uh, to do that, and also for feed. So we did need the New Holland, I might actually, because we've got so many of these tractors, 
just sell one or two of them we don't need them all uh, and then I can buy the equipment that I need to definitely not going to cheat again I really do not want to be messing about in that XML file adding money because it just seems very unrealistic I think buying this though was fine I think adding the 70,000 on top of the 10,000 um, to buy this tractor wasn't really cheating because obviously a farm is going to have some money in the bank to use and it didn't it wasn't really enough that what we started off with uh, to actually get on our feet too much so yeah I think I'm happy with buying this tractor so anyway thanks for watching everyone uh, please let me know any feedback if you want me to do anything differently um, and I happily listen but otherwise thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video